This video is going to show you how you can set up Apple's two-step verification. And this is important because only you should have the power to change your password and change your security questions. When you set up two-step verification, you add that extra layer of security to your Apple account. You need an Apple ID and then you log into appleid.apple.com. See that up here. And then click manage your Apple ID. And then you've got to sign in to your Apple account. Now if at this point you forgot your password, there is a link there to retrieve your password and to retrieve your Apple ID for that matter. Then sign into your accounts. On the left you'll find a number of tabs where you can update all your Apple um, information. The one we're going to is password and security. And before you can actually get into your security section or change your password, you have to put in your answers to your security questions. So again, if you forgot those, you can send reset information to your uh, alternative email address. So this email is not my um, Apple ID. It's an alternative email, so that will help you get into that section. So answer the two questions for your security questions. And then click continue. And you can also put in a rescue email address, which is what I uh, just did then, to get um, my information reset. So what we're going to do is, uh, you can also change your password here as well. All we're going to do is turn on two-step verification. So turn it on, click Get Started. So the premise for two-step verification is simple. Before you can make any changes to your account or buy a purchase from a new device, you have to verify your identity. And you're going to do that either by adding in an SMS code from a verified mobile phone or a trusted device. And that can be an iOS device like an iPhone, an iPad or an iPod Touch. Uh, and you also get a recovery key, which you need to keep in a safe place. So put that with all the other Apple information. And you can use that to access your account if you ever forget your password or lose your device. So... At this point, don't say no thanks because it all looks too hard. It is really important that you have these layers of security. So click Continue. Once you enable two-step verification, the only way you can make changes to your account is when you sign in with your password and a verification code. There is no need anymore for security questions. So you don't have to remember what your questions were and what your answers were. You will just be sent a code. Uh, only you can reset your password, so there's no point taking it down to the Apple Store and asking them to reset it because they won't be able to. And if you forget your password, you can reset it with your recovery key and with a trusted device, which might be an iPad, an iPhone, a computer. So let's click Continue. Let's turn it on. Take the step. So important things to remember. As another level of verification, if you've made any changes to your Apple ID just before you go to set up two-step verification, it gives you this message and you've got to wait three days. And that's to make sure that it's really you. Once you've clicked Password and Security and answered the two security questions, you then get to the two-step verification. So now you can click Get Started. And continue. Now it's just giving you more final instructions. So let's continue. Get started. And first thing is to set up a phone number because that's how the code is going to be delivered to you. And it needs to be a mobile phone number or any number that can receive SMSs. So I'm going to add phone number and select your country, country code, and then put in your mobile phone number. 
then click Next. And now the phone number will be verified. You can hear that little uh, sound. It sent me a code to my phone. So put in the verification code that was sent to you. And what this is doing is verifying the actual device that it belongs to you. So click verify. And you could add another phone number if you didn't have that phone on you or you've got a couple or you want to do someone else in your family to add their phone number. I've only got one, so I'm just going to leave it at one. You can also verify your identity using one of the following devices. So if you've got an iPhone or an iPad or an iPod Touch that has been enabled with your Apple ID, you can use that to verify your identity. And so I'd like to do that. I want to set up my iPad. So what I'd need to do on the iPad, because that's the device that I want to use to verify, is make sure I'm signed into my Apple ID. So if I'm in the settings and I'm going to the iTunes and App Store and sign out of this Apple ID, because it's not the one I'm attempting to set up for two-step verification. So I'm going to sign out of this one and then sign in on the account that I'm setting up two-step verification for. So I've signed in on the, the device. Now I'll go to iCloud settings and make sure that Find My iPad is turned on and that you have got a, your iCloud set up. So I want to add a trusted device. So I'm going to click Add or Remove Trusted Device. And I've already got the iPad verified and the only other iOS device that I have is an iPhone 4S. So I'm going to verify that one. So I click verify and it's going to send a code to the iPhone. Type that code in and then verify that device. And now two devices are trusted and I've also got the mobile phone number where I can be sent an SMS code. Then done. Now step two is the recovery key. So you need your recovery key to access your account if you forget your password or you lose one of your trusted devices. If I wanted to make a purchase on a iPhone and it was the first time I'd used that device, then I'm going to be sent a code either on the actual device itself or via a phone number. And once I've verified that device, I'll never get that again. But if I forgot my password or I've forgotten my, or I don't have my trusted device, then I need this recovery key. So you need to write it down. More importantly, as it's telling you in red, bold writing, keep it safe. Don't save it on your computer, and this is where the password managers are very important. Uh, you can print it, and so it's not a bad idea to write it down, put it in a book if that's where you're keeping all your passwords, or put it in a password manager, like one password or LastPass, and print it. And uh, I won't do that. Once you have, then continue. So step three, enter your recovery key to confirm that you have a copy. So now you need to enter. So once you've entered it, then the confirm button will turn blue and you'll get the, the green tick. So confirm. And step four, select that you understand the conditions. You've got your final set of instructions about what to do if you forget your password, etc. And enable. And then click done. So once you've done that, when you go back into your Apple ID and manage your Apple ID, so at appleid.apple.com, when you click password and security, you've now got two-step verification information. You no longer need security questions because you've got this enabled. So let's look at how the Apple ID works. I've changed my Apple account to my account because it's easier to demonstrate. And then you go back into the Apple ID, manage your ID, sign into your account. So before you can do 
any changes to your Apple account, you firstly have to verify who you are. Now I can do that in two ways because I set up my mobile phone number and I also added a trusted device. So if I se select the iPad, and let's put the iPad up on the screen at the same time and then ask it to send a code to the iPad. These are the messages that I get. I get on the iPad the Apple ID verification code and that code's been sent to the iPad. So I've got the iPad sitting in front of me and now I add the code in to the computer, which is where I'm working at the moment. So let's have another look at that. There's the, the iPad with the code that was sent to it as a trusted device. I enter that code into the computer I'm working at because that's where I'm trying to change my Apple account details and then continue. And that gets me into my Apple ID and where I can make all the changes to anything there in my account. To change anything in two-step verification, I go into passwords and security where you can change your password, replace your recovery key if you've lost it, turn off two-step verification or add another device. So that's all for this video.